Alright, what's up everybody? My name is Raiko. Welcome back to another video. Today what I have for you guys is the first official look at Kano inside Mortal Kombat 11. Now, I initially first saw this picture while I was at work today, and when I saw it, I was like, oh wow, holy shit, it's Kano. But then, now that I'm sitting here in my room, just like analyzing the picture, I'm thinking to myself like, holy shit, it's Kano. And the reason why there's, I don't know if you heard the change in the, my tone of voice, is that this isn't Kano from Mortal Kombat 11. This Kano here, right here, where's my cursor? There we go. This Kano here, this is a young boy. This is young Kano. He's looking significantly younger. His design looks to be toned down. He doesn't have a tattoo on the other side of his body. And I really appreciate just how simple his design is. He looks super cool. I definitely look forward to seeing him in motion. I look forward to seeing if he's going to be a grappler. You know how they approach uh, his variations. Because Kano was really fun to play at MKX. Super fun. There wasn't uh, Kano was one of those uh, rare instances where every single variation was just awesome to play. You know, the, uh, for me personally, at least, there wasn't a variation that I found to be like uh, bad or anything. Now, this was revealed today during the Brazil event. Apparently, there wasn't any gameplay. There was just like pictures and, uh, you know, uh, I think cosplayers as well. You know, the, the same thing for us, I guess, just like toned down because there wasn't anything crazy. Um, I don't think he was going to be revealed at the canceled combat cast. I feel like that was still going to be Cabal. But, you know, nonetheless, we still got some news today, so that's definitely appreciated. What they also revealed is that he has a territory exclusive costume similar to Scarlet. Let me see if it's here. No, not that. Well, I mean, it's here, but it's full body shots what I'm looking for. There we go. So basically what this is, is Pirate Kano. Now, he looks really, he, he kind of looks silly, you know, but at the same time, he's like, whoa, I, this looks really cool. This is the second, this is the second territory exclusive costume that they've revealed so far. The first one being uh, Cold War Scarlet for Russia. Now, it's cool, it's cool for Russia and it's cool for Brazil that they're getting their own exclusive stuff, but I really do hope that every other tour, uh, ter tour, it's funny, every other territory, especially the, us in the US, get, uh, are able to get our hands on these costumes. I really don't, I really don't want them to have certain exclusives that, that you couldn't otherwise get your hands on. You know what I mean? I, I feel like, I, I don't want to say I, I'd feel cheated, but I definitely want everybody I, I definitely want every everyone in the player base to be able to experience the same kinds of things and not have it be a situation where if you want this costume outside of brazil or if you want cold war scarlet outside of russia you have to go to ebay and buy the costume for like a hundred dollars you know um my initial thoughts he looks super dope he looks super cool uh, it's looking like where's the other where's the other picture it's definitely looking like his customizable pieces are his eye up here, which I'm super excited about. I think it'd be really cool to give him an eye with like a, like a mini little like a little mini gun. I think that'd be really dope and silly. Uh, his chest piece here, which has been moved, it looks like it's more like in the middle of his uh, of his torso here, as opposed to like being like somewhere up here. I think I remember. And then his knives. Now I'm not mad about that. You know, we can definitely make uh, make a very good looking Kano. I'm interested in knowing what some of his other skins would be, as opposed to the. Uh, you know, Pirate Man over here. I wonder if he's gonna get like a shirt or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Now, he kind of looks like Austin Aries. Austin Aries was a WWE wrestler. Now he's on the indie, he's more famous like on uh, for the indie scene. This looks super like Austin Aries. It is nuts. It'd be, it'd be really cool if they came on and said, oh, blah, 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 what's the, vo what's the face? But if you look here, if you just look at his entire profile here, it really looks like Kano's Mortal Kombat 11 design was heavily inspired by this man here. Now, in case you guys don't know, this, this man's name is Trevor Goddard. Now, Trevor Goddard was the man who played Kano in the first Mortal Kombat movie. Now, one of the more interesting things about Kano, in case you guys don't know, was that when they created him, he was initially going to be like Sub-Zero. He was going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, he was going to be half Caucasian and half Chinese. Uh, that's fine you know whatever but goddard's performance was so well received when the movie came out that the developers actually decided to turn kano into an australian how nuts is that that an actor in a movie just like you know like i honestly feel 
that a Trevor's performance in the Mortal Kombat movie is one of the best. You know, Robin Show was great. You know, Shang Tsung is fine. Um, but Trevor as Kano, you know, he really like instills that like sleazy mercenary vibe. You know, he doesn't care. He's sloppy. Yeah, and then you you go back to Kano, especially especially in X. I feel like Kano has uh, has more time to shine in X. You go back to X, and sometimes even you know MK9. It's just it, it's so much Trevor. It's it's, it's so cool. It's, it's like one of the coolest things. I am. I, I keep looking at his pictures. It's, it's so simple. It's so Kano. You know what's funny is that every time a Mortal Kombat comes out, you know you'll get like the crazy over the top, uh, over the top redesigns for Scorpion, Sub Zero, Ermac especially. You know Reptile to an extent. You know Rain got a redesign in Mortal Kombat X that was super cool. But Kano is one of those characters that you know whenever he shows up, it's like oh no, it's just you know it's just a shirt. Let's do with a giant knife. No, that's cool. <laughs> you know. You, you just you, you you just take it for like uh, for what it is at face value and you know I gotta say he looks really cool and super young too which is weird because you know we don't know a lot about the story not so I'm thinking that is is this Kano from the previous timeline and if it is what happened to oh no excuse me not, not previous no yeah previous timeline is this Kano from the previous timeline uh, altered timeline uh, what happened to uh, the much older Kano that was in Mortal Kombat X. You know, it's really interesting that his base design is young Kano. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it kind of makes you wonder that what what the hell is gonna happen? Now, there's something else that I want to I want to bring you guys' attention to, and I'm gonna put up the picture right about now. It's this picture of Kung Lao that somebody shared on Twitter. And not only is it a better look at Young Kung Lao's costume, which I gotta say looks super cool. Yeah, the, the, the I think it's all like red, 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 and blue, red, white, and blue. It, it's it, it's a much more uh, interesting Kung Lao design. But if you notice on his belt, he's wearing the Mortal Kombat dragon symbol. Now a bunch of people are talking about if you go back into the trailer. Liu Kang's not wearing the dragon symbol. Kung Lao's the one wearing the dragon symbol. So people are starting to, hypoth uh, are starting to hypothesize that uh, perhaps Kung Lao, at least this version of Kung Lao, was the one that became the Mortal Kombat champion and not Liu Kang. Not, now, this is just pure speculation and uh, this guy... He, you know, he, he's right on the money, and I hope he's right, because that would definitely give Kung Lao a spot uh, in the in, in the spotlight. It would definitely uh, give Kung Lao the, the the attention that he deserves, the recognition that he deserves. You know, because oh, it's ah, Liu Kang this, Liu Kang that, blah blah. You know, that's fine. You know, whatever. I prefer Zombie Liu Kang. Uh, I prefer uh, Spirit Liu Kang when he's like, you know, trying to fight his body and whatever, you know, whatever the fuck. But making uh, making Kung Lao the Mortal Kombat champion. Oh my God, that's, that, that's so cool. It is, I, I, don't, I don't even know how many times I can say cool or awesome or amazing, you know, but it, it's, I, I, I don't even have words. It, it's so cool that time travel is finally being, becoming like this huge thing, like, like actual time travel, not Raiden sending a message to himself in the past. That actual time travel is being implemented in the Mortal Kombat universe, and you're able to get these scenarios. You know, growing up playing some of the 3D era games, um, my brother and I and all my friends would, you know, we just like throw ideas at each other. Like, oh, what if this happened? What if this happened? What if this happened? Now we finally have a game. Now we finally have the instance where, you know, like holy shit, like, like some of our ideas, some of your ideas even, could become a reality, because Chronica is just messing everything up you know and it's it, it's so exciting it's so exciting i'm i'm waiting for the i'm honestly waiting for the johnny cage reveal so far johnny cage is the only character from mortal kombat 1 that hasn't been revealed yet and i just hope he looks cool and i hope that his uh, mortal kombat x ending is canon in case you guys uh don't know johnny cage's mkx ending he travels to shang Tsung's island because he realizes that he's getting a little too old 
and you know he's he's one of Earthrealm's defenders, and he has to be there to help out at, at all times. So he goes to Shang Tsung's island, and he figures out, or well, he finds out, excuse me, that Shang Tsung discovered the secret to a Danny and Long life, and immortal Johnny Cage would would be a thing. I really hope that's canon. That'd be awesome. It would guarantee uh, Johnny Cage's uh, longevity in the series. And it would definitely solidify that time is being messed with. Because if you go back and play some of the previous games, uh, the games that took place in the old timeline, Johnny Cage is, I believe, the one that died the most. I believe Johnny Cage died three times. I think the, the, uh, the, the Armageddon death counts... Uh, him dying uh, during Mortal Kombat 2 counts and I think yeah so it's Mortal Kombat 2 um, he technically died um, at Shang Tsung's palace and his soul was um, it was inside uh, one of the corpses of the of Onaga's undead army and then he died in Armageddon yep yeah so Johnny Cage died three times now you have an instance where he could potentially be one of the longest living characters. Mind blown. You know what I mean? So, um, uh, especially for someone like me who's a huge, like, MK lore buff and who, like, really pays attention to the small details. It's just... It's amazing. It, it's so cool just thinking about the possibilities. Mortal Kombat 11 is not even out yet and, you know, my mind is just, like, starting to race, starting to go, starting to go. And I really hope this game doesn't end on a cliffhanger, man. I really hope it doesn't. Um, also, what I wanted to talk about with you guys is just to give you an update on my channel. Um, my my lovely girlfriend, while we were getting ready for work today, she came up with the idea uh, for me to do an arcade playthrough, and, and, uh, a ladder playthrough with every single playable Mortal Kombat character, that, uh, every single Mortal Kombat character that's ever been playable, do an arcade ladder with them, all the while I'm talking about their lore, how I feel about the character, uh, do I feel them? Uh, do I think that they're gonna return from Mortal Kombat 11, etc., um, etc. Et you know things like that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna upload a video like that every day, up to the release of Mortal Kombat 11. Now the game that I'm gonna do this with is Armageddon, because most of the playable roster is already there. It's like, what, like 62 characters, I believe? And I'm gonna do it in order. So if you go back to the Mortal Kombat, as a matter of fact, let me just show you guys. Let me just show you guys here. Where's Mortal Kombat Warehouse? Let me show you guys. Da 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 da, Armageddon. Ba -na 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 -na. Let's see, scroll down here. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna do it in this order. Scorpion's gonna be first. And I'm gonna work my way down, Sub Zero, Reptile, Rain, all the way down, blah blah blah, and then I do Blaze. I'm gonna, I'm obviously gonna skip over the the character created, no, uh, the created characters, and I'm gonna be doing it on a PlayStation 2 emulator, so I'm not really gonna do Chameleon. You know, I eventually have to work my way through all these videos here, and that's fine. You know, it's, it's definitely gonna be fun. It's gonna be a nice little series for me to do. But should I find myself, like, let's say, like, at Shujinko, I'll try to find a Wii emulator and do my best to configure my fight stick for it. And uh, maybe I'll get to her. Or maybe what I'll do is, because for the PS2, this is supposed to be a created character slot. So maybe I can do all of these, everybody here. And then as, like, a little bonus video, I I'll go to the... I'll go to Female Chameleon. I'll definitely do that. But I'm excited about that. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments how you feel about that. Do you guys... Uh, I put out a post on Twitter um, asking asking people. And it's so far, so good. So, so far, people are definitely behind it. But I want to ask you guys here on YouTube, is this something you would like to see? Do you want to see me do arcade uh, Armageddon arcade endings for uh, the base cast here? Uh, me talking about the lore, how I feel about the characters, and, you know, uh, how they play, and so on and so forth. And then, after that, I'll go to the new characters in Mortal Kombat X. You know, Aaron Black, Ferator, Takeda, um, mm, who else, Jackie, you know, so on and so forth. I'm only going to be doing, or the plan anyway, is for me to only do Mortal Kombat characters. So I'm not gonna, uh, I don't wanna do guest characters so much. So I don't wanna do Jason, I don't wanna do Predator, Leatherface. I don't wanna do Freddy. You know what I mean? I, I just wanna, just strictly Mortal Kombat characters. 
I think that'd be dope. I think that'd be cool. Uh, maybe I can do an additional ending for Scorpion and in Injustice 1. Uh, Sub-Zero's arcade ending in Injustice 2. Uh, Raiden's arcade ending in Injustice 2. Um, I'll definitely cross that bridge when I get there. But yeah, again, you know, just let me know if, if that'd be something that you're interested in. I'm most de most definitely interested in. I think uh, a series of countdown videos would be cool. I'm definitely going to start recording that now because I believe there's 84 days. I believe there's 84 days. There's 62 characters here with the exception of female chameleon. How many new characters were here? I'll go through it with you guys real quick. Fighters. That's fine. Uh, so who's new? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, mm, nine. Charbor technically counts as a new Mortal Kombat character, even though he's like Cyrax and Sector and whatnot. But that's just his variations. So it's like nine, so that gives me like 62, 71, 71 videos. Gives me uh, one video per day, 71 days from now. So I I'm I'm gonna get a head start for sure. Uh, excuse me, I'm drinking some tea. Definitely gonna get a head, uh, head start on that. And it's, it's gonna be super exciting being able to uh, revisit. One, uh, honestly, I think Armageddon and Deception are tied for my favorite 3D era game of all time. Uh, it sucks that competitive Armageddon wasn't really a thing. I definitely think it'd be cool. But, you know, to each his own. But that's... Yeah, I, th I, think, I, think, about, I think I about covered everything that I wanted to cover. Definitely feel free to sound off in the comments. Are you excited? Let me go back to this picture for you guys. Look at that. Super cool, Austin Aries, haha. <laughs> so, sound off in the comments, guys. How do you feel about Kano being revealed in Mortal Kombat? Are you excited for his playstyle? Did you play him in Mortal Kombat X? Did you play him in Mortal Kombat 9? I hope not, he wasn't very good. <laughs> uh, what other characters are you excited for? Do you, do you have some 3D era favorites that you want to come back? Do you have some 3D uh, favorites, 3D era favorites that you don't want to come back? Please let me know. I look forward to talking with you guys down below. And before I end this video, my number one candidate to come back in Mortal Kombat 11, Natara. Easily. Easily, 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 Natara. First of all, she looks cool. You know, besides, you know, like her design is kind of crap. I'm not really a fan of it. The one thing I was a fan of was her hair, her being a vampire. And she has this headband that also acts as an eye patch. That's super cool. That's honestly my favorite design. My favorite design. I, wa I wasn't really so into like the, the super sexy females and, you know, as a kid I thought it was kind of unnecessary, but you know, given today's modern technology and the way that uh, the justice that they're doing uh, to the female characters, especially uh, with uh, how cool they made uh, Katana and Melina look, I think current gen Natara would look super fucking dope. Super dope. Easily. Easily. Look, look at all this lore. Look at this. Oh my goodness. But that's good. But that's gonna do it for me, guys. I definitely, I definitely hope you guys are looking forward to the uh, the series of videos that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I think I'm gonna call it the Countdown to Mortal Kombat 11. I'm gonna have uh, maybe like day one out of you know so and so. Uh, let me know your thoughts about Kano. Let me know some of the characters that you want to come back that you don't want to come back. Um, and honestly, just let me know if you're excited. You know, I definitely appreciate any and all of the support you guys are giving me. I've got 61 subscribers. Uh, about 8,000 plus total views, you know, I'm doing this for you guys, and I'm having such, I'm having such a great time, I'm having so much fun, I'm super excited, and I can't wait to bring you guys, uh, some story gameplay, I can't wait to live stream for you guys, I do have a Twitch, I'm gonna have either a link, or my Twitch name down below, I haven't uploaded, I haven't live streamed in maybe like a month and a half, two months since I started everything. And I definitely want to change that. What I was trying to do is uh, build an audience on YouTube first so that I can let you guys know, hey, 
you know, join me over there. Whenever I live stream on Twitch, it might not always be fighting games. It could be maybe some, like, co-op games with my girlfriend, with my two siblings, maybe some Switch games once I get my capture card. So definitely stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed already, please feel free to subscribe. Leave a like on the video. Any and all appreciate, any, excuse me, <laughs> any, any and all help is greatly appreciated. I love all of you guys. I love my supporters. I love, I love that you guys are enjoying the things that I do. And I hope you, I hope you guys, uh, Trevor, oh my God. I hope you guys are as excited about Mortal Kombat 11 as I am. Because I am, I am just through the roof excited. It's all I think about at work, at home. You know, it's, it's just insane. Well, all right, guys. I love you so much. Thanks for thanks for the uh, thanks for the views. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your comments. Both both negative and positive comments are greatly appreciated. I'm I'm just I'm just genuinely I'm I'm really thankful for all of you guys for every single one of you. Thank you so much. Hope you have a good night or a good day depending on when you're watching this. My name is Raiko, and I'll see you in the next video.